it's Stephanie McClellan from Imperative Space, reporting from the UK Space Conference. I had the opportunity to interview Craig Clark from Clyde Space, the most experienced CubeSat builders in the UK. Craig Clark gave his views on the satellite market and innovations like OneWeb's planned venture. It's really great to see such a buoyant industry here in the UK um, for, for satellites. Uh, there's lots more smaller companies springing up, and not just in upstream but in downstream as well. So the use of data, which is really important for the market in the UK, we're, in, we're attracting other companies, that well-established companies from other places in the world, to set up a, 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 an office here in the UK as well. Because of the, the rapid evolving of technology for consumer electronics, companies like Clayspace, when we're making really small satellites that are orders of magnitude cheaper to manufacture and launch than these larger satellites, we're able to take advantage of these new technologies and apply them to space, which means, basically it means that the, the performance levels that we can achieve from a really small satellite are now starting to challenge the performance levels of larger satellites in many ways. So it's opening up this whole new area of the space market and this is why we're seeing such a huge increase in not just upstream companies like ourselves where we make the technology but the downstream companies because the downstream companies are thinking of new ideas of generating data that they can then sell or, or providing a service but the investment that they need to do that is now orders of magnitude lower than what they had to do before. OneWeb is a, is a great example of how the, the industry is changing. OneWeb I've decided we want to do 900 spacecraft and provide the service. Before, again, before if they were going to do this using traditional techniques, it would, the cost of doing so would be far too much. Whereas they are saying, well, we're going to take the rule book, we're going to have, acknowledge that it's there, we're going to put it to the side, and then we're going to go and actually build 900 satellites. And SpaceX are doing the same thing. Instead of taking 10 years to get your mission on orbit, you can have it in 18 months. So if you see a, a service and a data needs for consumers or other applications, you can have that service in place within, within a 24 month period really, whereas before it would take a lot longer. And I think that is a really great example. So OneWeb, SpaceX, with their constellations, they're just getting out there and doing it. And I think we'll see a massive shift in the way that we do space in the future.